Hi everyone, um, this is Nikki Rowland and today I have a mini album to share for Hip Kit Club. Um, I'm using the January 2022 kits. They are fabulous. This is my first um, project using those kits. Um, and um, I am doing a mini album today and I decided to go for a balloon shaped one um, because I am going to be scrapbooking photos of my little boy on his third birthday. Um, so we had a great day. So um, I had lots of photos of different things. So I thought I would um, go ahead and do that. And these colors uh, from the al from this um, this collection were just so fun. And I thought that they would be absolutely ideal um, to um, scrapbook photos of his birthday. So, um, so yeah, so I have drawn myself a balloon template. I haven't used a cut file. Um, I have simply drawn it onto a piece of cardstock um, and drawn it multiple times as in you know sketched around it multiple times until I was happy with the shape now balloons aren't necessarily perfect um but uh I just you know it, it's definitely not a perfect balloon shape but uh, it's it's definitely looks like a balloon so I'm, I'm going with a win for that one um so yeah so I've cut uh, I, I drew that onto white card and then I cut that out and I've used that as a template um, all the way through. So I've just drawn around it and then cut it by hand. So um, if you don't have a fancy cutting machine, um, then this is a great way of making an album. I do quite a few of my albums by hand rather than by using cut files. Um, so um, you don't have to have a cutting machine in order to do it. To do it. Um, you definitely just create yourself a template and cut all the pages the same size, uh, which is what I've done today. So I chose five different papers. I think it's five, maybe it's six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I have seven pages all together, um, but um, I think two, three of the pages are all cut from the same paper because I love that paper so much. That's that one, by the way, that I'm doing right now. Um, the one with the kind of different bright colours on it. Um, so I cut from different parts of the paper to make extra pages um, and um, I ended up with three balloons that looked quite different actually in terms of colour. So I've got one that one there that's kind of a green and then I've got another one that's very orange and then I've got another one which is more yellowy green. So um, so yeah, anyway, that, that, was, that was cool. And then I say I've got the other papers as well. I've got the really um, busy one that reminds me of, um, oh, what's it called? Oh, I can't remember. Not kaleidoscope. That's the wrong word. Um, spirograph. <laughs> uh, so it uh, reminds me of that. And um, then I've got the one with the diamonds all over it. And then I've got a blue one. And I chose the right the middle of the paper because that's where the pattern was central. Um, and then I've got um, the very pale geometric one that you can see at the top there. Um, and uh, then I've got the others um, from that same same paper that I cut earlier. Uh, so I'm going to cut those. Um, I probably think I do those off camera because I think as I go through and start adding my um, photos and working out what I'm going to do, I decide I needed extra extra pages. So I think I started off with five and ended up with seven. Um, so yes, I've cut all those. I drew around that template, drew them all, cut them all out, and then I have to stress the edges off all. Um, and um, now I've got this far, and now I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do. I have quite a lot of photos to get into this album, um, so I need to make sure I have a good way of including those. So I'm thinking pockets. Um, I'm thinking that I'm going to um, attach this book together via um, a book ring at the top, um, and then I'm thinking that I'm going to put some ribbons and things on the bottom um, to make the balloon tails. Um, so that will be fun. Definitely look fun. And actually, it turned out super well. So happy with it. Um, OK, so I've moved on a little bit now. So I have decided to create vellum pockets and shaker pockets on these um, little balloons. Um, so you can see that I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven now. So I have all my pages. Um, and two of them I've turned into shaker pockets. Now, the first one is going to be the front cover. That's the green one with all these sequins on it. And then the other one is the blue one at the top. It's got a bit of a glare on it at the moment. But um, that is blue. And I've used a blue sequin mix with shells in and the reason I did that was because we are um, we went to an aquarium um, on this on this day so that was quite cool to have like a sea 
themed almost um, with shelves in. Um, so I've made two shaker pockets and then the rest of them I have cut, uh, using the template, cut a small amount of vellum to go across the balloon um, and it goes down to the bottom part of it as well. So and that I have then sewn around the edges of all of those and that creates um, a pocket for each page. I'm not doing a pocket on the front cover and I'm not doing a um, pocket on the other shaker, shaker pocket either. I'm going to leave those as they are. Um, so now I'm just placing some ribbons um, on the um, on the balloons. Um, and on that first one, which is my front cover, I have added a piece of kind of lime coloured ribbon. I've also added um, baker's twine as well tied around it. And I've added curling ribbon because curling ribbon is so cool, right? <laughs> um, <clears throat> no balloon is um, complete without it. I'm not going to put the curling ribbon on all of the balloons because I think it would be a bit overkill, but certainly on the front cover for sure. And then the rest of them are going to have um, ribbon tails as well. Um, so I just made a little balloon there from um, the... Uh, die set, the metal die set. Um, I've cut the balloon, I've cut the geometric heart, I've cut the small heart and I cut the word hooray. Now I cut those all out in white because I had quite a solid colour for my background so I wanted to make sure they would show up. So the hooray, the geometric heart and the little heart all look great in white but for the balloon itself I thought I would um, colour it and I just used some inks to get a bit of a fade on that on, and, and go went for the same kind of colours as were on the background. And then I've added the word, the, the word, the number three um, onto the balloon because obviously we have balloons with the number of the birthday on. Um, so that was give me and then I'm going to add the word today as my title as well. So um, one of our assignments today was to use hearts. Um, so I did actually consider doing a heart shaped album but I decided against it in the end and have just gone for hearts on every page. So um, my boy is, you know, light of my life, so I love him. So hearts are very, very appropriate. Um, and um, I like to, I like the idea of having something consistent, like a consistent element going through on every single page. So it turns out that that geometric heart is the, um, the element that will um, be uh, throughout ev on every single page. Um, it will be in different colours, but it will be there. So that's fun. Okay, so I'm, I'm liking how that's looking. Um, that's pretty much my front cover done. Um, I've also added in a few of the puffy stickers uh, from the kit. I've added the word celebrate, which is also a puffy sticker. Um, the puffy stickers I've used are like little fireworks. Um, I've got some little puffy hearts as well. Um, and on the little balloon, the three balloon, I've tied some baker's twine around that as well. Um, so that it, um, it also looks like a proper balloon rather than just a random shape. Um, okay, so um, I'm now just going to punch my hole in the top of all of my other pages. And that's so that I don't accidentally embellish over the area where the hole needs to be. Um, so, uh, so yeah. Anyway, I'm going to go and... Um, do all of my embellishment off camera um, just because I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do um, and how I'm going to include those photos in the pockets. I end up making little booklets and you'll see those in just a moment. I'm going to switch over to a flip through uh, just now. Here is a flip through of this completed um, three today balloon shaped mini album. Um, I have put it together with a book ring at the top and I just love all the tails of ribbons on there. Um, so um, I've started off with um, a balloon shape on the front with um, a big shaker pocket. So I have lots of sequins in there. So I have acetate over this one. I've used the die cut hearts from the um, metal dies. I did a balloon there, coloured it with some ink, put three today and then the word hooray as well. And lots of little bits and pieces. I've even got some curling ribbon on this one. And then the first, all of the rest of the pages follow the same um, kind of pattern. Well, not all of them, but most of them. So I have a vellum pocket that I've sewn in place on all, or well, most of the other balloons. And I've also used um, the metal dies uh, going, and I've, that's a repeating element throughout all of them. Um, and then I've got these little booklets um, of photos and journaling as well. And they just go in the pockets. Next one, this is about present, the presents he got for his birthday. And again, more little booklets with photos 
and journaling too. And again, the repeating hearts from the metal dies. I love this word, exciting as well. Obviously got presents written there. Then we went to uh, the aquarium because my boy loves fish. So I've made another shaker pocket there. Again, I've repeated the heart, um, but I wanted to make this a little layout rather than a pocket um, because I didn't want to cover up the shaker pocket and it has lovely sequins in and even shell shapes as well. So a little bit of um, a few flowers and uh, kind of foliage there um, and uh, the heart as well. And go fish because that's what he said all day long. Go fish now, go fish. <laughs> So uh, that's that one. Then we're back to pockets, and this is more about the aquarium because uh, we it was uh, you know we were there for a couple of hours. So oh look, there's a spare bit there. Um, there for a couple of hours, so I have lots of photos from there. So these are slightly bigger booklets again with some journaling, um, and there we go. That one's a four. Uh, so I've got journaling there as well. Um, so there are the photos from the aquarium, and then. Um, this page here is about the cake. We had a lovely cake that was made especially, it has his name on everything. Um, and instead of making a booklet for this one, I made individual photos and then a journaling card. Okay, and the word cake. And again, repeating with the hearts from the metal dies um, and the word hooray. Um, and then final page um, is um, swimming because we went back to our um, villa in the afternoon and we went swimming and he loves swimming. So <laughs> um, I've written about that as well, journaling on there. So that is, oh, and this little heart here is cut from the metal die but colored with ink because I didn't have one in the right color. So um, there you go, that is the album complete. And I love how it looks with all the tails. I'm so pleased I did a balloon shape um, and uh, that's just turned out really, really well. I, I, I love it. <laughs> there we go. So all finished. Okay, so here are a few close-ups. I hope you enjoyed seeing the finished album. Um, like I said, in the flip through, I made the little booklets for the photos and that was an ideal way of getting lots of photos um, into the album and they just slotted in all of the pockets as well. Uh, except this one, this one wasn't a pocket page. Um, but yeah, here's a few close-ups. You can see where I've used the geometric heart all the way through. I love the metal dies. They're just so awesome, aren't they? <clears throat> Don't forget that if you are a Hip Kit Club subscriber, you get the main kit at a reduced price, 15% discount off all add-on kits, and access to exclusive subscriber cut files. So lots of reasons to subscribe. Uh, thank you so very much for joining me today. That was Nikki Rowland for Hip Kit Club.